What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today, remember when the Obi-Wan Kenobi series having production problems, remember when that was fake news? Remember when those mindless zombies that will bury their head in the sand and anytime you have a valid criticism of Disney Star Wars, which there are many, but anytime you have that valid criticism, these morons will pull their head out of the sand and just call you a racist, sexist, or you're part of the online toxic fandom. You're part of the online toxic fandom and you hurt my feelings. Yeah, all those people uh, tried to say that the Obi-Wan Kenobi story was fake news when Geeks and Gamers first reported it. And now here we are. Here we are with the loss of a writer. And why would Slash Film be covering such an anti-toxic talking point for Disney Star Wars? I mean, this is ran by Peter Serretta, who blocked me on Twitter for calling him out. Hi, Peter. How are you? Good to see you. Hopefully you'll be at Star Wars Celebration. I would love to shake your hand and ask you how you've been doing. Because I don't know, because you blocked me on Twitter, because Geek Man bad. But anyway, here we are on Slash Film. And even though it's fake news that the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is having problems, because Kathleen Kennedy has never, ever, ever, ever had any production problems whatsoever on any project. So... When you report on another series or another production under Kathleen Kennedy's leadership at Lucasfilm, when you report on that having problems, it's obviously fake news because this woman has a perfect track record. If you're willing to eliminate virtually every single thing that has happened on the feature film side at Lucasfilm under her leadership, if you ignore all of that, there's been no problems. But anyway... Just for the sake of a talking point and to get some of that clickbait uh, money and ad revenue, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this, if that's okay with the sensitive sallies out there. Is that good? Thank you. All right, so Dave Filoni and Christopher Yost are among choices to replace the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series writer. Now again, I know, I know, this is fake news, so we're just grain of salt. Isn't that the term that you can use to get away with it? Um, all those channels, they all want to talk about these things, but then they say, but take it with a grain of salt. So it's okay to talk about uh, s rumors and speculation and sources as long as you say, take it with a grain of salt. So take it with a grain of salt. Um, anyway, so any it says that Variety, a very, very respected publication, um, has reported on this. The Aller reports that Lucasfilm is on the hunt for a new writer to replace uh, Hasin Amini, uh, I think that's how you say his name, after the original Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series writer was dropped from the project and his scripts thrown out in a dramatic overhaul of the Disney Plus series. Production on the series is currently stalled as Lucasfilm hunts for a new writer to replace Amini. And according to Variety, that writer may be either Filoni or Yost, Variety says. Um, so there you have it, according to industry sources, and their sources are better than your sources, ladies and gentlemen, because that's just how the game is played. Um, Disney is already exploring several possibilities, but nothing official has taken place as of yet. Given the nature of the project, the company will no doubt have to pick, have the pick of the litter in terms of bringing a well-known writer and showrunner. One obvious solution would be to bring in someone from The Mandalorian, aside from Deborah Chow, who directed multiple episodes of The Mandalorian and will direct all of the Kenobi series. Two potential solutions could be Dave Filoni and Chris for Yost, who both uh, wrote episodes of The Mandalorian with Filoni also directing two of them. So, uh, even though, even though, even though this isn't true, and even though uh, Geeks and Gamers was just running with clickbait to get that ad sense, let's just go ahead and take it with a grain of salt, and if this was hypothetically true, how would you feel about that? Well, um, I'll drop the sarcasm now. I feel good about this. Uh, I do like. Uh, do I? Do I like? I love Ewan McGregor's Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, it's going to be great to revisit the prequel era um, with Ewan McGregor's Obi Wan. Deborah Chow directing all the episodes is a fantastic move. Um, and Dave Filoni and Christopher Yost being uh, the the writers, I think, would be a fantastic move. Also. The only problem is Kathleen Kennedy is still in charge of Lucasfilm, and 
that is a problem and it's always going to be a problem it's going to be a problem for any project that happens under her watch as the president of lucasfilm it's just always going to be a problem it doesn't mean that things are automatically going to be terrible because the mandalorian was enjoyable really good jedi fallen order was great and those are two things that she really didn't have anything to do with other than the fact that her name is going to be as the president of lucasfilm but she didn't have any involvement for crying out loud they had to convince lucasfilm to let them use jedi in fallen order because they're idiots Lucasfilm is full of morons. It's just that simple. But uh, this news, based on what we're getting and what's being reported, I find this to be pretty exciting. Uh, all things considered, the fact that Kathleen Kennedy is still in charge. But you got to let me know what you think in the comments below. And also subscribe to our new YouTube channels, Gaming with Geeks. It's going to be our gaming channel. And Park Hoppin, which is our theme park coverage channel all under the Geeks and Gamers banner. We also have Sports Wars, which is doing fantastic. Subscribe to there if you're new. Um, also, Gaming with Geeks over on Twitch. We've got that going, and I'm so excited. We're rebuilding geeksandgamers.com as we speak. I'm pouring a lot of money into it, but I believe you're all going to be really happy with the final product. It's going to take about a month, but there's a lot of good things going on at Geeks and Gamers. So please check out those channels. The links will be in the description and the pin post below. Other than that, thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. And we will talk to you later.